Hey guys, I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday so far and today we have a really fun thing that I'm sure you guys will enjoy. We actually found a video, like an interview from Bible Times. So, hope you enjoy it and we'll talk about it as we go along, right? This is Tom Peterson from Bible Times News Network. We're taking a look at new developments around the temple in Jerusalem. Right now, many Jews have begun to believe in Jesus Christ, and because of the persecution from the Roman and Jewish officials, these believers have fled north to the city of Damascus. Jane Johnson is on the scene in Damascus. Jane? Thanks, Tom. Jane Johnson here in Damascus, where the believers fled from Jerusalem. What's been going on around here? Jesus is alive. It's the best news in the whole world. They tried to stop us from praising God, they tried to kill us and arrest us, but we're still praising God and spreading the good news. Is that so? And what is this good news exactly? That Jesus Christ is God, that He rose from the dead and defeated sin and death, and that His Holy Spirit can come and live inside everyone, and everyone can be God's child. Well, there you have it. Jesus Christ is changing everything, and the believers who have fled Jerusalem are still giving out the good news. Question is, what are the officials in Jerusalem going to do about it? This is Jane Johnson in Damascus. Back to you, Tom. Thanks, Jane. Insider sources say that the officials in Jerusalem have hired a man named Saul to round up these believers and bring them back to Jerusalem. Stay tuned to Bible Times News Network for more information on the struggle between these believers and Saul. Wow, that sounds so dramatic. I mean, people are having to flee Jerusalem because they believe in Jesus and they're being killed. One of the main guys that was actually going after early Christians was a guy named Saul. Now, we know him as a different name. I'm sure you guys remember it. Later, we hear about him being called Paul, but at this time, he was known as Saul, and he was going around and killing Christians. He thought it was the way he was obeying God, like that's the way he was supposed to obey God. He even had uh, permission from the chief priests, you know, the uh, Phar Pharisees, to go after and kill uh, more Christians. Let's turn in our Bibles to Acts 9 and see what else happens. We have breaking news. Saul has just been struck blind on the road to Damascus. Let's go to the scene. Jane Johnson here at the scene on the road to Damascus with Nathan Nathanson, one of Saul's guards, who saw the entire incident. Nathan, what exactly did you see? It was the most amazing thing. We were walking on the road to Damascus when suddenly a bright light from heaven flashed and surrounded Saul. It was so bright we had to look away. And then we heard Saul say something, but we couldn't make out, make out exactly what it was. But by the time the light went away, Saul was on the ground and he couldn't see a thing. Well, there you have it. Saul was struck blind. Witnesses say that he was led to a house in Damascus. We'll check back later on Saul's condition. Thanks, Jane. Wow, Saul was on his way to Damascus and was suddenly struck blind. What do you think that bright light was? Think about it as we listen for more of the story. Jane Johnson here for Bible News Network. I'm with Saul in Damascus. Witnesses say a bright light shone around Saul and that he was struck blind. Saul, what happened to you? Wow, Jane. Wow. It was just so amazing. What was so amazing, Saul? Jesus is God. I spoke to him. It was incredible. I've been persecuting the people who believed in him this entire time. But Jesus is alive. And I was wrong. I was so wrong. Saul, can you tell us exactly what happened on the road to Damascus? I was walking with my men on the road to Damascus when suddenly a bright light struck me. And I couldn't see anything. And I fell to my knees. And I heard the voice of God say, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? I was confused, but I knew it was God trying to speak to me, so I asked, Who are you, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. And I couldn't believe it. I've been persecuting Jesus' followers this entire time, but he was God all along. And he turns everything upside down. Jesus changed everything. Wow, Saul. What are you going to do now? I'm going to wait and see what God has in store for me. Thank you, Saul. Back to you, Tom. After Saul heard from God, he was blind for three days. Can you imagine being blind for three days? And I'm sure he was scared during that time. But at the same time that this was happening, God spoke to a man named Ananias, who was also living in Damascus. And he told Ananias to go and see a man named Saul and to put his hands on him and heal him. Now, Ananias was scared because he knew who this Saul was. He knew he was the guy who was killing all these Christians. And so he's like, um, really, Lord? You do realize this is the guy trying to kill all of us, right? But God said, no. Go and visit him and put your hands on him. And Ananias did. Ananias did. He obeyed God. And he went to Saul and he said to Saul, he said, Brother Saul, the Lord has healed you and I will pray over you. 
So he prayed over Saul, and something like scales fell from Saul's eyes. That's from Acts chapter 9, verse 18. And after that point, Saul could see, and he was a brand new man. So, I hope you enjoyed the story of Saul becoming Paul. And later on, we'll hear more about his missionary journeys to all types and areas of places around the world, or at least the known world at that time, because they didn't know about America at that time. Uh, but we will also see that he struggled a lot to bring the gospel to many parts of the world. So, until next time in a video, we will see you, uh, hopefully in person, but in the next video. Bye guys!